Hiro Anoda. March 9, 1974, in Lubang, Philippines. Retired Major Yoshimi Taniguchi of the Japanese Imperial Army flew to Lubang to officially relieve 2nd Lieutenant Hiro Anoda of his duties and encourage his surrender to President of the Philippines, Ferdinand E. Marcos. Hiro had been sent to Lubang to fight in 1944. In September of 1945, after the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan surrendered and World War II came to an end. Hiro had no idea and he just kept fighting. He continued to fight for 29 more years. Hiro was born March 19, 1922. His father also fought in World War II. In 1943, Hiro's father was killed in action in China. Hiro enlisted in the army at 18 years old and was trained as an intelligence officer. He left for Lubang on December 26, 1944. His order stated that suicide or surrender was not an option. Hero's commander told him that he may be there for a year or 10 years, but the army would come back for him. The United States and Philippine forces took the island in March 1945 and almost all of the Japanese soldiers were killed or surrendered. Hero took command of three men still on the island. They headed for the hills. In October 1945, the men found a leaflet. It said that the war was over and ordered the men to leave the mountains. Hero was unsure. He and the men decided that it had come from the Americans. They stayed where they were, attacking anyone that came near them. Later that year, more leaflets were dropped. The men had gone into the mountains with orders to never surrender. Again, they refused to believe the war was over. After living in the mountains for four years, one of the soldiers had had enough. He walked away from the group. He got lost and it took him six months to get to the base of the mountain. He surrendered. The army, along with family and friends of the three remaining soldiers, dropped letters and pictures in 1952, urging the men to come out of the mountains. The men believed these to be fabricated. By 1972, the two remaining soldiers under Hero's command had been killed. Hero was all alone in the mountains. Norio Suzuki was a Japanese man that set out on a weird quest in 1974. He had heard about Hero and went out looking for him. Norio said that he wanted to find Lieutenant Onoda, a wild panda, and the abominable snowman, in that order. On February 20, 1974, he found Hero after only four days of searching. The two men struck up a friendship and Norio asked Hero to come out of the mountains. Hero told him that he would only surrender if he received orders from his commanding officer. Norio returned with Major Yoshimi who relieved Hero of his duties and ordered him out of the mountains. Hero relinquished his rifle, sword, ammunition, hand grenades, and a dagger to President Ferdinand. It is believed that Hero killed upwards of 30 people during his time in the mountains. Despite this, he was pardoned by the Filipino president. This enraged the people of Lubang. After his surrender, Hero published an autobiography and moved to Brazil to raise cattle with his brother. He also got married. Hiro died of pneumonia on January 16, 2014 in Tokyo, Japan. He was 91 years old. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.